So we know we have a set of well-defined protocols that are used to communicate over our networks. And let's call these communication rules. And you are probably familiar with the lower layer transport protocols such as TCP and UDP. And also the higher application layer protocols such as HTTP and FTP. So generally speaking, we interact directly with the application layer. And then we have networking and security devices working at the lower layers. So when host A wants to communicate with host B that you see on your screen, it will go through a series of layers of communication with devices working at each layer. So basic firewalling features includes blocking traffic designated as dangerous from either coming in or leaving a network. So it sits between two segments such as the internal and external segments you see on the screen. So it really is essential to monitor state and context of network communications between these different segments as each segment will have different security levels. So the stateful inspection in a firewall occurs at layer 3 and layer 4 at the OSI model and really is an advanced technology in firewall filtering. So to achieve this objective the firewall maintains a state table of the internal structure within the firewall. So the firewall monitors and filters incoming and outgoing traffic based on previously defined security policies. So at a really basic level, the firewall essentially acts as a barrier between a private internal network and the public internet. So stateful firewalls inspect network packets tracking the state of connections using what is known about the protocols being used in the network connection. And this state of connection is stored so you can see a list of the connections in the state table. So let's just look at a quick example. So we have a TCP connection between a client and a server, which first starts with a three-way handshake to establish the connection. So one packet is sent from the client with a SYN flag set in the packet. The server receiving the packet understands that this is an attempt to establish a connection and replies with a packet that has the SYN and the ACK flag set. When a client receives this packet, it replies with an ACK to begin communication over the connection. Now this is the start of a connection that other protocols then use to transmit data and communicate. For example, let's say a client browser wants to establish a TCP connection to carry out the web protocol. And here a HTTP GET will be used to get the contents of a web page. So as the connection changes state from open to established, Stateful firewalls store the state and context information tables and update this information dynamically as the communication progresses. So all of this information is stored in state tables, provides cumulative data that can be used to evaluate future connections. So just to wrap up, stateful packet inspection is a technology used by stateful firewalls to determine which packets to allow to go through the firewall. So it works quite simply by examining the context of a data packet and then it can compare this against data about packets that it previously knows about. Stateful packet firewall keeps track of all network connections and ensures that they are legitimate. Then we have things like network-based static packet filtering. It also examines network connections, but only as they come in, focusing on the data that's in the packet's header. This data provides less information to a firewall and a stateful firewall is considered to be more secure. So a stateless firewall uses a predefined set of rules that can help thwart cyber criminals. If the data packet conforms to these rules, it is just judged as safe and allowed to pass through. In this way, the traffic is classified instead of inspected. You could consider this to be less rigorous compared to what a stateful firewall does. For example, a stateless firewall doesn't really differentiate between certain kinds of traffic such as SSH versus FTP. So a stateless firewall may simply classify these as safe and allow them to pass through, which can result in potential vulnerabilities.